God has spoken and let the church say amen. For your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio, I'm CJ. For your Olympic sporting news, Olympic hurdler Lolo Jones is among a group of Olympic track athletes that was invited and is expected to compete in the U.S. Women's Bobsled Push Championships Friday. And Carlos Newsman, who has headed the Olympic movement in Brazil for decades and helped bring the Summer Games to Rio de Janeiro, is set to be re-elected despite increased criticism, accusations of wrongdoing, and calls to have him removed. For your quick news and notes, UFC middleweight champion Anderson Silva made it clear he won't be moving up in weight to fight John Jones because he just doesn't want to and will continue to defend his title at 185 pounds. Featherweight Orlando Cruz, a 2000 Puerto Rican Olympian and a fringe contender as a professional fighter, has done something unusual in boxing or any professional sport. He has publicly announced he is gay while he is an active athlete. British heavyweight Ali Adams has been suspended for two years after testing positive for steroids. Australian midfielder Tim Cahill was guaranteed $3.6 million by the New York Red Bulls, the fourth highest salary in Major League Soccer. Major League Soccer's disciplinary committee has suspended Chicago Fire forward Guillermo Franco for an additional game and fined him an undisclosed amount for endangering the safety of an opponent. Seven-time F1 champion Michael Schumacher is retiring from Formula One racing again at the end of the season and this time he says quote it might be forever close quote Kyle Bush has apologized to Toyota Race and Development for his profanity laced comments made about TRD engines following Sunday's Sprint Cup race at Dover after Bush settled for seventh in a race that was determined by fewer mileage Jeff Gordon and Hendricks Motorsports announced a contract extension Thursday through 2014 with sponsor AARP and AARP Foundation Twins Andrew and Aaron Harrison of Richmond Travis High in Richmond, Texas, down the street from me, committed to Kentucky on Thursday. Chris Walker took over Thursday as Texas Tech's interim head basketball coach, replacing Billy Gillespie. The tumor on North Carolina basketball coach Roy Williams' left kidney is non-cancerous, the school announced Thursday night. Mike Krzyzewski and his Duke basketball team will practice at Fort Bragg. School officials said Thursday in the Blue Dub will train and practice there on October 15th, and they will also spend the previous night in barracks and will take part in morning formations and physical training, along with roughly 20 soldiers and other activities. Sean Eckhorst is leaving his job as athletic director at Scandal Ridden Miami for Nebraska, where he accepted a five-year contract to succeed Tom Osborne and oversee the Cornhuskers program. TCU starting quarterback Casey Pahal has been suspended indefinitely after he was arrested for a suspicion of driving while intoxicated early Thursday morning. A judge on Thursday granted a request by former Penn State assistant football coach Jerry Sandusky that the court return to his wife the $50,000 she put up for his bail before he was convicted this summer of sexually abusing nearly a dozen boys. Arkansas coach John L. Smith has amended his bankruptcy filing, listing $40.7 million in debts, up from $25.7 million just last month, and the plot thickens. It was a New York Times bestseller for a month, but sales of Paterno have dropped off and has sold only 29,000 copies, a far cry less than the 100,000 copies printed by Simon & Schuster Publishing. Missouri freshman wide receiver Doria Green Beckham is among five players suspended for Saturday's game against Vanderbilt as they were arrested by campus police after allegedly smoking marijuana near the school's football stadium. The New Year's Day Bowl game at the Cotton Bowl has a new sponsor and the Heart of Dallas Bowl will debut January 1st with teams for the Big 12 and the Big 10. The NFL Players Association said Thursday that the second NFL PA Collegiate Bowl will be played on January 19th at the Home Depot Center in Carson, California. Tune in next time for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle a little spirituality <laughs> in your sports. I'm CJ. Be blessed and have a positive, productive, blessed day. And I leave you with namaste as the divine in me salutes and honors the divine in you.